<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. But to be more considerate or more kind, it's about calling people out on doing something wrong and mm -hmm. stopping them. Do you think the intent matters more than the word? Hundred yeah. percent. Because I, I feel like we saw that a lot with. Um, <clears throat> There's a there's two big YouTubers that were in the news, uh, or one was in the news. There was uh, PewDiePie. Yeah, Felix. let's talk about that because sure. I saw his response video and I kind of got sickened. Oh, really? By what's happening to him? Oh, by what's happening? I thought you were saying yeah. his, no. his, his words. Well, he was. He, it was crazy. It was crazy. The whole thing is insane. They're making it out like he's a Nazi, right? And he's not at all. No, he, the, the, he had made some some videos where he had told people to not be Nazis and right. to not and to like to, to to don't you know what was his exact words I don't well, I don't want to so misrepresent the thing him. Is they it, it originally started with um, this whole Fiverr video that he did um, and then Fiverr and then, yeah so it's like a website where you can get people to, to do thing for things originally for five dollars now for more money and so he went through the site. It all started from this one video that got him attention. Um, he went to Fiverr and tried to get people to do ridiculous, outrageous things. Okay. Right? Um, got a guy dressed as Jesus to say something weird. Um, he got these. Uh, the main thing that blew up were these two guys. They're like they're in like a, a jungle setting of some sort. They dance. They laugh. They'll, they'll hold up a sign. They'll say something. And so he was like, "It's going to be hilarious because they're not going to do it, right? They're going to be like, thank you, but no." Um, but they actually made a video where the guys were laughing and dancing, held up a sign that said, uh, death to all Jews, and and then said to subscribe to a YouTube channel, right? The whole, th uh, the, of, a, of, a, of like someone else, so not So he his. asked them to say death to all Jews? So he, he wrote in as like a, because in the same video, he gets all these people that are like, I'm not going to do the stupid, ridiculous thing that you said, but right. then they actually did it. The, the big reason I feel like they did it is they didn't understand what, the words they were writing and the words they were saying. Oh, they're from were, another country. Yeah. What country were they from? I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to double check. Okay. So they just essentially wrote down the symbols. They yeah. didn't really know right. how to even say the words. And so it, there yeah, it is. So there it is. Oh yeah. And so, they're laughing. Yeah. And so I think this might be from his explanation <coughs> video. But in the first one, he's like, "Why the fuck did they do it? How do I? Can I even include this?" Um, and so then that sent that got that got a little traction. And then people started going through his other videos, and they were like. He's he's dressed up. Uh, he's watching Hitler in this one, taken completely out of context of him saying that the YouTube Heroes program, which was a program where people can uh, uh, highlight videos or not highlight them, but mark them down for deletion because they're offensive, right? And so people were like, "Oh, that's censorship. That's you're talking about like obviously hyperbole." It's like those are Nazis. So he made that joke in that relation, and then there, there was one. I want to say if it was on The Verge or. Wired, but then they go even further and they're like he used Leslie Jones picture um, On Harambe taken completely out of context because he was using uh, there's this Microsoft AI bot like this chat bot and you'd say uh, let me see Harambe as Jesus and uh, Either the AI was messed up or people had manipulated it where it was putting Leslie Jones's face on it And he was horrified by it and that was the whole joke, but they were saying that he he was doing it. So this is clear, like he, you saw him use the software, and right. you saw the error. If you try and use the bot today, a picture won't come up because now they are aware that that's what was happening, oh. right? And so they took <clears throat> all these things and it was this like this crusade of, look guys, we're looking at this bad guy. He's the biggest guy on YouTube, he's the bad guy. We're gonna take him down. So much taken out of context. Some things are not defensible where, I can't I can't say it in the sense of like you say that words don't have power based on intent and I think there's a there's a lot of truth in that um, Not saying words don't have power based on intent I'm saying that words should just convey intent right and there are times where a word there's times where like you see a friend, you go, "What's up, bitch?" And you know, like you have, right, and, yeah. you, and you're both laughing, and you're being silly. And then there's times where you call someone a bitch, right? Because you think they're being mean. Yeah. I mean, th those two words are exactly the same, but one conveys a completely different intent. Right. But uh, out of this, it was it was very obvious that they were trying to do this takedown thing, and it blew up entirely in their face. I think I saw. But over... has it? Because I don't think most people are aware. I mean, there was a Wall Street Journal article on right. it, right? Which was where it, where it got really weird because three people worked on this and they combed through hundreds of they, hours. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, and they found like instances of him holding his arm out like this, and they used that picture. Like, there's a, I mean, that's that's weird. It's like, very weird. And then and then once all of it came out that they were like, well, uh, here's the thing about the context. He's just like Donald Trump, and it was it was an immediate jump to he's using the same tactics tactics as Donald Trump, but. 
it's it's it was just insane. No, he's very reasonable. He yeah. he did a, a video a response video about it, and the way he handled it was very reasonable. Yeah, and he explained what he was doing, what's going on, and you know he's doing hundreds of hours of him playing video games and talking and being right. silly. And if you comb through those and take these things, again, out of context and, mm -hmm. and try to make it look like he's a Nazi, that's a hit piece. 100%. And it's deceptive. It's yeah. not indicative of his, his overall, it's hard to call it a body of work, but let's call it a body of work. <laughs> right. His overall body of performance that he's, mm -hmm. that's online, whatever you want to call it. Right. His talking. It's, it's not who he is. So that for them to call him a Nazi and say that PewDiePie has, you know, seven videos where he's done something about Nazis, like... People, when they're doing these long form spitball improvisation videos mm -hmm. like that, and you're interacting with people, you're going to say all kinds of shit that in the moment is legitimate. Right. But if you chop it up and edit it and splice them all together and then make a five minute montage of him saying Nazi, like he's obsessed with Nazis. And what, what kind of sucked from it was a lot of people think that, oh, there, there are articles about the downfall of PewDiePie. I think he's gone up half a million, if not more than a million in subscribers uh, since all of this happened, right? So he's gotten all this new support. He's a temporary face for uh, for free, spree free speech and uh, persecution but from mainstream lost, media. But he lost, didn't he lose some, some gigs? It doesn't matter for him, though. He, so, I mean, it sucks more for the people that were working on that project. Well, what was the project? So it was Scare PewDiePie Season 2. It was a YouTube Red series. Um, so they were, I think they were about to go into production, um, and, and so then that got canceled. So YouTube didn't want to fund that. And I said it. He said it. He understands why they would have to separate because then it becomes a story of YouTube and Pewdie or YouTube and Disney support an anti-Semite, right? But That's, obviously he's not an anti-Semite. Right. So why would they back away? I think because they were scared that the Wall Street Journal was like, "Did you see all of this? We're going to write this article." How did the Wall Street Journal let that slip through? That seems to me very irresponsible. Many of them are standing by it, though. Many people, really? yes, one hundred percent, and the, many are touting it as this victory because he lost. Uh, Google preferred ads on YouTube, which I will say I don't know how how he was still seen as family friendly because I'm not family friendly on my show. His past two years, at the very least, not family friendly. Uh, and then uh, Drop by Maker, uh, he doesn't he doesn't need his uh, his MCN his 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 company around him. And the YouTube Red series is nothing. He's still going to make millions of dollars. He's he's grown. It, it's a good thing. I feel like it, now, if you if you have mainstream media try and take a swing at you, it's some of the best promotion in the world. Okay, but why did they take a swing at him, and why is anyone saying that they took down a bad guy? I like, think that it's it's a big thing of them trying to label, a, and it's once once again, it's the problem with a lot of media is they're they're overextending, right? They they all of a sudden start talking about this narrative about alt right and the the rise of white supremacy again in this country, and then they look at this big guy and they're like. We can use him as an example. We can be the heroes that that expose this, that do the takedown piece, um, and they're not, and they're not, and they're like so driven for that that they then just they go, oh well, maybe that doesn't add up there. It's an argument, but we have the power. We have the size of the audience. We're good, and it just blew up in their face. So they were thinking they could get away with it, even though it wasn't kosher. I believe so. What is their response so far? Do you, do you know? Have you read anything about it? As far as like. Fans or no, Wall Street Journal oh, post post. Check. Are they no, digging their heels anything. in? I haven't seen. Yeah, and then a lot of people started trying to find, <laughs> as always, uh, dirt Other stuff. Dirt on like the the authors in the past. One was like a a joke from 2015 because, and and while part of me would go, well, that's petty. If the argument is that context doesn't matter, then fine. Then then look at these guys, what they said a year ago. Look at what they're they're saying now. Look the writers who of the article. of the article. Like I think Ben Fritz was one of the the writers where he made a. I can't. I, I never knew Jews were so good at frying. Joke uh, from way back, and then he he made another joke about. Uh, it was like a back and forth with someone where he said, you know, uh, th these racial jokes are so stupid. And then someone said, uh, you know, they hit everyone. And he said, well, at least the black jokes are funny. Those ones, those ones aren't funny. Um, and so people were like, well, if 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 context doesn't matter, are you a scumbag? Right. And and then people just dismissed it as, or a lot of mainstream people dismissed it as, like, oh. That's that's not the same thing. How could anyone say context doesn't matter? That's insane. Ever. That's, that's insane. insane. That is an insane thing to say. Is that literally what they said? That context um, was, does not matter. Fuck, what was it? It was one of the one of the people. Uh, I'm gonna get the. The problem is so many people have written about it. Right. There was one article that was promoted, and it said uh, all these art articles uh, or all these people defending Felix with but context. That's that's a bullshit argument. And that's insane. If you that think that that's an insane, insane. so everything it, exists in a, in a in a highly edited bubble. 
dope. So well, let's ruin listen, everyone's career. If you're talking about a mathematician discussing algorithms, yes, context doesn't really mean that much right. because he's talking <laughs> about numbers. But we're not talking about numbers. We're talking about words. Yeah. We're talking about the way people express themselves. And we're talking about someone who is generally considered to be humorous. I mean, Pootie Pie, a lot of his stuff is playful and humorous. So if you're humorous and you're playing around and you say something that might be, I'm, I don't even want to use the appropriate, it might be cur the thing for him to say in that moment to try to be entertaining. Right. That does not mean he's a Nazi. Right. And to, to label him like that is incredibly irresponsible. Right. And it, it's... It's really, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I would sue the fuck out of him. Right. If I was him, I would sue the fuck out of them, for sure. Yeah. Because what they're doing is misrepresenting who he is as a human being. And even if it's beneficial in the long run, it's mm -hmm. super dangerous to set that precedent. Well, especially something in this, in this climate where you say this is what he supports and it 100% right. isn't. How do you know someone doesn't just see those articles, doesn't see his defense, and tries to kill the guy? But why would the Wall Street Journal do something like this? Wait, but so ju to jump back to, to what you were saying about mainstream, do they have well, any go resentment? Let's back to that Pie guy. Yeah, some, and, and your, some places, your issue. I, yeah. I get scared when everyone talks about stuff in generalities, right? When I talk about, and I, I'm guilty of it too, when I talk about like all mainstream media. It's not everyone, you know? Right. Um, but there are. I, I stopped doing interviews with uh, mainstream outlets several years ago because they made everything about, like I would talk about all the, the really cool ventures that were going into to how, how our space is changing things up. And it would always be turned into um, one comment that maybe was somewhat critical of, let's say, like a, a studio. And right. it would all become about that, or it would all course. become about like the money. And and I was like, you're just fucking manipulating what I'm saying. Selective I don't want to deal editing. with this. Yeah. yeah. And, and so the point has become, uh, when, when the Wall Street Journal knocks on Felix's door after they, they didn't apparently approach him uh, for the original story, and they're like, hey, we want to give you a platform to tell your story. It's like, fuck you. Is that what they're doing now? Uh, yeah, the, after the story broke and there were all these people that came to his defense, they, they came to him. Now, I'm not going to, that's what a, I think that's what a journalist should do, right? Talk to the fucking main well, source. I would assume that they would be after different journalists. Well, so I think from what Felix uh, wrote, it was the Wall Street Journal. They left their cards, and that's how he knew it was 100% them. Um, but why? But that's not what I mean. What I mean is different journalists from the Wall Street Journal, not the same oh, maybe, ones who wrote maybe. the hit piece. I don't know if it was the same ones. I, I he did, he highly didn't say, doubt that they right. would go, hey, we're super sorry. We called you a Nazi <laughs> in front of millions of people, and we were totally lying. Yeah, but the argument all of a sudden is, that why, why should he do an interview with the Wall Street Journal? Maybe because they have a different audience, but he has a, his own larger platform where he controls the narrative. He's not going to be selectively edited. Right, but he's not speaking to the people that the Wall Street Journal right. disparaged him in front of. But I would assume that they're also covering their ass by mm. going to him and reaching out and giving him a platform. They can say, well, we gave him a chance to respond, right. and the facts remain. He did say those things, and they are valid. I think if, I think if he was confident enough, he should probably do what... I've seen Milo uh, Yiannopoulos do in the past where he had someone film at the same time. So if they did misrepresent him in some manner. But it uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they've already done it. They've already misrepresented him in the article. If they, if he has someone film his response to that no, article. No, no, no. I mean, I mean just if he did something with them. Right. If right. they did film something, no, I understand but what you're film saying. the entire thing just so you can show. But I'm saying it doesn't matter because they've already done the damage, the mm. damaging thing. Like how many people who read oh, the yes. first thing are even going to read the second thing? Right. It might even be 30 percent. So well, you got 70 percent people. And how many people just read The Wall Street Journal and maybe a local paper and aren't online and aren't hearing all these responses? Mm. And they go, oh, you know, they catch their son. Oh, oh what are you watching? Guy? I'm watching Pootie Pie. Oh, you're watching that Nazi? That guy's a Nazi. No, he's not, Dad. You hate everything I like. <laughs> <laughs> and now that kid's doing meth for the rest of his life. Mm, I don't know. About no, that. I uh, I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think that it is sad, right? That's that's a huge problem with with a lot of the uh, the fake news or just news that's false is the the crazy salacious shit. Yeah. If you then look at the correction half the time, that gets like twenty times the shares. You know why? Because it's fucking insane. It's like, did you see this? Did you see this thing? And it's something that uh, I've been critical of. People I like in the industry, cri uh, critical of a lot of the mainstream uh, guys that I don't like, it, it, and it sucks because there's not there's not a clear answer. Do you delete the false thing and then it looks like you're hiding that information? Mm. Um, do you do you? Well, you should definitely delete the false thing. But so if you that's have... my argument. But then there's right. there's an argument that you you leave it up because you show that you were wrong. If it's on Twitter, you quote tweet it, but that still that still doesn't fix it because um, as much as we talk about bubbles and separation, that tweet, that promotion of a thing 
is separate from everything else in the world. Tweets are problematic anyway because it's 140 characters and it's very difficult yeah. to adequately explain some subjects in mm -hmm. 140 characters. But if you put out some information that's not true, like this Pootie Pie thing, right. you, you absolutely should print a retraction. And you absolutely, if you have it still up on your website, the first thing you should say is this is all taken out of context mm -hmm. and it's incorrect and it's not, it does not represent who this guy is. And you should absolutely not have those writers do that again. Right. I mean, whether you fire them or whether you uh, assign, I mean, who knows what they were asked to do. This is another part of the problem. I mean, right. is it, was this an independent thing that they decided to pursue on their own? Did someone ask them to do it? Was there someone who decided that this guy was a Nazi because that maybe they tuned in at the very moment he was doing something? Right. And they're like, and some people obviously are very, very sensitive to that kind of stuff. So I think that's why it's important, especially on uh, an editorial team of some sort, to have people with, with mixed opinions because it's very easy to all of a sudden get railroaded behind an, an idea of just like, yeah, look at these, look at these seven specific things. We're not going to say that it's out of context, but look at this information. We got this guy. We got we got this guy dead to rights, but it's it's all flimsy. Well, again, context, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as you, I mean, I mean, that is part of the problem with doing something like you do, and it's certainly part of the problem with a, co a podcast. Is if you're talking for three hours, and you take these little snippets of those three hours out of context, it paints a completely distorted perception of who right. the person is. But. That, that's also a problem with language in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is a problem with, and it's certainly a problem with words. And that's one of the problems with these quote magic words, like that you're not supposed to say anymore. Whatever those words are, you know, there, you 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 give the weight, give so much weight to these words that just taken alone uh, on on their own, they can get you in trouble. Just saying, uttering the phrase as if it was a magic abracadabra I think can it's get just, you in trouble. I think it's important that we, we stop trying to, oh God, it rhymes and it's not on purpose. We have to stop just blindly hating and we try and educate, right? I think that- Don't blindly hate. <laughs> educate. <laughs> Da, 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 da. It's an after school special starring uh, Philly D. Oh, God. Do, 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 that do, do, sounds do. like straight up something from hey, the kids, 90s. <laughs> you're on a skateboard, you pull up. Don't hate, educate. Yeah. But Ding. I mean. <laughs>